The 8th Air Force Air Forces Strategic 8AF is a numbered Air Force NAF of the United States Air Forces Air Force Global Strike Command AFGSC. It is headquartered at Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana. The command serves as Air Force's strategic, global strike, one of the air components of United States Strategic Command USSTRATCOM. The 8th Air Force includes the heart of America's heavy bomber force, the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber, the B-1 Lancer Supersonic Bomber, and the B-52 Stratofortress Heavy Bomber Aircraft. Established on the 22nd of February 1944 by the redesignation of 8 Bomber Command at RAF Dawes Hill in High Wycombe, England, the 8th Army Air Force 8 AAF, was a United States Army Air Forces Combat Air Force in the European theater of World War II 1939-41-1945, engaging in operations primarily in the Northern Europe AOR, carrying out strategic bombing of enemy targets in France, the Low Countries, and Germany, and engaging in air-to-air -air fighter combat against enemy aircraft until the German capitulation in May 1945. It was the largest of the deployed combat Army Air Forces in numbers of personnel, aircraft, and equipment. During the Cold War 1945-1991, 8AF was one of three numbered air forces of the United States Air Forces Strategic Air Command SAC, with a three-star general headquartered at Westover AFB, Massachusetts commanding USAF strategic bombers and missiles on a global scale. Elements of 8AF engaged in combat operations during the Korean War (1950–1953), Vietnam War (1961–1975), as well as Operation Desert Storm (1990–1991) over Iraq and occupied Kuwait in the first Persian Gulf War. Topic Overview. 8th Air Force is one of two active duty numbered air forces in Air Force Global Strike Command. 8th Air Force, with headquarters at Barksdale AFB, in the Bossier City, Shreveport, Louisiana, metro area, supports U.S. Strategic Command, and is designated as U.S. Strategic Command's Task Force 204, providing on alert, combat ready forces to the President. The mission of the Mighty 8th is to safeguard America's interests through strategic deterrence and global combat power. 8th Air Force controls long-range nuclear-capable bomber assets throughout the United States and overseas locations. Its flexible, conventional and nuclear deterrence mission provides the capability to deploy forces and engage enemy threats from home station or forward position, anywhere, anytime. The 8th Air Force motto is peace through strength. The 8th Air Force team consists of more than 16,000 regular Air Force e.g., active duty, Air National Guard and Air Force Reserve professionals operating and maintaining a variety of aircraft capable of deploying air power to any area of the world. This air power includes the heart of America's heavy bomber force, deploying the B-1 Lancer, B-2 Spirit and the B-52 Stratofortress. The Mighty Eighth's B-52 force consists of 76 bombers assigned to two active duty wings, the 2D Bomb Wing at Barksdale AFB, Louisiana and the 5th Bomb Wing at Minot AFB, North Dakota, and one reserve wing, the 307th Bomb Wing at Barksdale AFB, Louisiana. The B-2 force consists of 20 bombers assigned to the active duty 509th Bomb Wing along with the Missouri Air National Guard's associate 131st Bomb Wing at Whiteman AFB, Missouri. The B-1 force consists of 62 bombers assigned to the active duty 7th Bomb Wing at Dias AFB, Texas and the 28th Bomb Wing at Ellsworth AFB, South Dakota. 
The 131st Bomb Wing is operationally gained by AFGSC and 8AF from the Air National Guard, while the 307th Bomb Wing is operationally gained from Air Force Reserve Command and 10th Air Force. Major General James Dawkins Jr. was named Commander of 8th Air Force on August 20, 2018, after having served as the Deputy Director for Nuclear, Homeland Defense, and Current Operations on the Joint Staff at the Pentagon, Washington, D.C. Topic. History For additional history and lineage, see United States Air Forces in Europeth History of 8th Air Force begins on 2 January 1942 with its activation at Savannah Army Air Base, Georgia. In quick order, on 5 January, Major General Carl Spatz assumed command of HQ 8th Air Force at Bowling Field, Washington, D.C. On 8 January the order activating the U.S. Air Forces in the British Isles USAFBI was announced. On 12 May, the first contingent of USAAF personnel arrived in England to join the 8th Air Force. On 15 June, SPATS arrived in England to establish the headquarters of 8th Air Force at Bushy Park, 15 miles 24 kilometers WSW of London. 8th Air Force was the command and control organization over its operational components. 8 Bomber Command established the 19th of January 1942 strategic bombardment using heavy four-engine bombers 8 Fighter Command established the 19th of January 1942 provide fighter escort of heavy bombers V Air Support Command established the 24th of April 1942 provide reconnaissance troop transport and tactical bombardment using twin-engine medium bombers 8 Air Service Command established 1942 Name adjusted to 8 Air Force Service Command by 1943 Service and Logistical Support, 8 Bomber Command was activated at Langley Field, Virginia. It was reassigned to Savannah Air Base, Georgia on 10 February 1942. An advanced detachment of 8 Bomber Command was established at RAF Bomber Command Headquarters at RAF Dawes Hill England on 23 February in preparation for its units to arrive in the United Kingdom from the United States. The first combat group of 8 Bomber Command to arrive in the United Kingdom was the ground echelon of the 97th Bombardment Group, which arrived at RAF Polbrook on 9 June 1942. Topic. Start of offensive operations against Nazi-occupied territory Regular combat operations by the 8 Bomber Command began on 17 August 1942, when the 97th Bombardment Group flew 12 B-17S on the first 8 Bomber Command heavy bomber mission of the war from RAF Polbrook, attacking the rouen sotville marshalling yards in France. During World War II, the offensive air forces of the United States Army Air Forces USAAF came to be classified as strategic or tactical. A strategic air force was that with a mission to attack an enemy's war effort beyond his front-line forces, predominantly production and supply facilities, whereas a tactical air force supported ground campaigns, usually with objectives selected through cooperation with the armies. In Europe, 8th Air Force was the first USAAF strategic air force, with a mission to support an invasion of continental Europe from the British Isles. 8th Air Force carried out strategic daytime strategic bombing operations in Western Europe from airfields in eastern England. Topic. World War II, 1944-1945 On 4 January 1944, the B-24s and B-17s based in England flew their last mission as a subordinate part of 8 Bomber Command. On the 22nd of February 1944, a massive reorganization of American airpower took place in Europe. 
8 Bomber Command and 9th Air Force were brought under control of a centralized headquarters for command and control of the United States Army Air Forces in Europe, the United States Strategic Air Forces USSTAF. 8 Bomber Command was redesignated as 8th Air Force, with 8 Fighter and 8 Air Support Commands being brought under the command of the redesignated 8th Air Force. This is from where the present-day 8th Air Force's history, lineage and honors derive. General Carl Spatz returned to England to command the USSTAF. Major General Jimmy Doolittle relinquished command of the 15th Air Force to Major General Nathan F. Twining and took over command of the 8th Air Force from Lieutenant General Ira C. Eaker at RAF Dawes Hill. Doolittle was well known to American airmen as the famous Tokyo Raider and former air racer. His directive was simple, win the air war and isolate the battlefield. Spatz and Doolittle's plan was to use the U.S. Strategic Air Forces in a series of coordinated raids, code-named Operation Argument and supported by RAF night bombing, on the German aircraft industry at the earliest possible date. Topic. Big week Cold and clear weather was predicted for the last week of February 1944 and Operation Argument became known as Big Week. On the night of 19-20 February, the RAF bombed Leipzig. 8th Air Force put up over 1,000 B-17s and B-24s and over 800 fighters and the RAF provided 16 squadrons of Mustangs and Spitfires. In all, 12 aircraft factories were attacked, with the B-17s heading to Leipzig Allgemeine Transportenlagen Gesellschaft, Junkers Ju-88 Production and Erla Maschinenwerk, BF-109, Bernberg Strensfeld, Junkers Ju-88 Plant, and Oschersleben, a GO plant making Fock Wolf FW 190A fighters, while the B-24s hitting the Gother Wagon Fabric, production of Messerschmitt BF-110, the FW 190 Rado plant at Tutau and the Heinkel firm's Heinkel Nord headquarters at Rostock, production of He 111. As a contrast, the Luftwaffe was undertaking the sixth major raid of the Baby Blitz the following night, February 2021, with only some 165 German aircraft sortieing against British targets. The raids on the German aircraft industry comprising much of Big week caused so much damage that the Germans were forced to disperse aircraft manufacturing eastward, to safer parts of the Reich. The next day, over 900 bombers and 700 fighters of 8th Air Force hit more aircraft factories in the Braunschweig area. Over 60 Luftwaffe fighters were shot down with a loss of 19 U.S. bombers and 5 U.S. fighters. On 24 February, with the weather clearing over central Germany, 8th Air Force sent over 800 bombers, hitting Schweinfurt and attacks on the Baltic coast, with a total of 11 B-17s being lost. Some 230 B-24s hit the Messerschmitt Bf 110 assembly plant at Gotha with a loss of 24 aircraft. On the 22nd of February 1944, due to many mistakes, Nijmegen was bombarded by 12 aircraft of the 446th Bomb Group and two aircraft of the 453rd. They did not realize that they were above Dutch ground. 850 civilians, including children on their way to school, were among the casualties. On the 25th of February, both 8th and 15th Air Forces hit numerous targets at Firth Airfield, Augsburg, and Regensburg, attacking Messerschmitt BF 110 and BF 109 plants. The 8th lost 31 bombers, the 15th lost 33. Topic. Berlin Less than a week after Big Week, 8th Air Force made its first attack on the Reich's capital, Berlin. The RAF had been making night raids on Berlin since 1940, with heavy raids in 1943 and nuisance mosquito raids in daylight, but this was the first major daylight bombing raid on the German capital. 
On 6 March 1944, over 700 heavy bombers along with 800 escort fighters of the 8th Air Force hit numerous targets within Berlin, dropping the first American bombs on the capital of the Third Reich. On 8 March, another raid of 600 bombers and 200 fighters hit the Berlin area again, destroying the VKF ball-bearing plant at Erkner. The following day, on 9 March, H-2X radar-equipped B-17s mounted a third attack on the Reich capital through clouds. Altogether, the 8th Air Force dropped over 4,800 tons of high explosive on Berlin during the first week of March. The photograph shows housing destroyed by the RAF during night raids. On the 22nd of March, over 800 bombers, led by H-2X radar-equipped bombers hit Berlin yet again, bombing targets though a thick rainy overcast causing more destruction to various industries. Because of the thick clouds and rain over the area the Luftwaffe did not attack the American bomber fleet, as the Germans believed that because of the weather the American bombers would be incapable of attacking their targets. Even so, the Pathfinder bombers of the RAF Alkenbury-based 482D bomb group proved very capable of finding the targets and guiding the bombers to them. Topic. Prelude to Overlord In a prelude to the invasion of France, American air attacks began in February 1944 against railroad junctions, airfields, ports and bridges in northern France and along the English Channel coastline. Fighters from both 8th and 9th Air Forces made wide sweeps over the area, mounting strafing missions at airfields and rail networks. By 6 June, Allied fighter pilots had succeeded in damaging or destroying hundreds of locomotives, thousands of motorized vehicles, and many bridges. In addition, German airfields in France and Belgium were attacked. On 1 May, over 1,300 8th Air Force heavy bombers made an all-out attack on the enemy's rail network, striking at targets in France and Belgium. On 7 May, another 1,000 bombers hit additional targets along the English Channel coast, hitting fortifications, bridges and marshalling areas. On D-Day, over 2,300 sorties were flown by 8th Air Force heavy bombers in the Normandy and Cherbourg invasion areas, all aimed at neutralizing enemy coastal defenses and frontline troops. Topic. Defeat of the Luftwaffe The P-51 Mustang first entered squadron service in Europe with the British in early 1942. The Allison V-1710 engine P-51A Mustang I having much success with the RAF, although it found the aircraft's performance inadequate at higher altitudes. Rolls-Royce engineers rapidly realized that equipping the Mustang with a Rolls-Royce Merlin engine with its two-speed, two-stage supercharger would substantially improve performance. Also, by using a four-bladed propeller, rather than the three-bladed one used on the P-51A, the performance was greatly improved. The XP-51B achieved a level speed of 441 miles per hour at 29,800 feet 9,100 meters, over 100 miles per hour faster than the Allison-engined P-51A at that altitude. At all heights, the rate of climb was approximately doubled. The USAAF now finally had an aircraft that could compete on equal terms with the Focke Wolf FW190 and the later models of the Messerschmitt BF109. The USAAF was finally fully sold on the Mustang, and a letter contract for 2,200 P-51Bs was issued. The engine was to be the Packard V16503, based on the Merlin 68. In late 1943, the P-51B Mustang was introduced to the European theater by the USAAF. It could fly as far on its internal fuel tanks as the P-47 could with drop tanks. 
However, the P-51B was introduced as a tactical fighter, so the first deliveries of the P-51B in November 1943 were assigned to three groups in the Tactical 9th Air Force at the expense of 8 Bomber Command, whose need for a long-range escort fighter was critical. The first escort mission for the bombers was not flown until 5 December. As the new commander of the 8th Air Force from January 1944 onwards, Major General Jimmy Doolittle's major influence on the European Air War occurred early that year when he made a critical change to the policy requiring escorting fighters to remain with the bombers at all times. With Doolittle's permission, American fighter pilots on bomber defense missions would primarily be flying far ahead of the bomber's combat box formations in air supremacy mode, literally, clearing the skies of any Luftwaffe fighter opposition heading towards the target. This strategy fatally disabled the twin engineers Torgeschwader heavy fighter wings and their replacement, single engine Sturmgruppen of heavily armed FW 190s, clearing each force of bomber destroyers in their turn from Germany's skies throughout most of 1944. As part of this game changing strategy, especially after the bombers had hit their targets, the USAAF's fighters were then free to strafe German airfields and transport while returning to base, contributing significantly to the achievement of air superiority by Allied air forces over Europe. The effect of the Mustangs, fully operating as an air supremacy fighter force, on the Luftwaffe defenders was arguably swift and decisive. The result was that the Luftwaffe was notable by its absence over the skies of Europe after D-Day and the Allies were starting to achieve air superiority over the continent. Although the Luftwaffe could, and did, mount effective attacks on the ever larger formations of Allied heavy bombers, the sheer numbers of B-17s and B-24s attacking enemy targets was overwhelming the German fighter force, which simply could not sustain the losses the 8th Air Force bombers and fighters were inflicting on it. In order to quickly assemble these formations, specially outfitted assembly ships were created from older bombers. By mid-1944, 8th Air Force had reached a total strength of more than 200,000 people it is estimated that more than 350,000 Americans served in 8th Air Force during the war in Europe. At peak strength, 8th Air Force had 40 heavy bomber groups, 15 fighter groups, and 4 specialized support groups. It could, and often did, dispatch more than 2,004 engine bombers and more than 1,000 fighters on a single mission to multiple targets. By 1945, all but one of the 8th Air Force fighter groups were equipped with the P-51D. Topic. Destroying the German oil industry 8th Air Force did not strike at oil industry targets until 13 May 1944 when 749 bombers, escorted by almost 740 fighters, pounded oil targets in the Leipzig area and at Brux in Czechoslovakia. At the same time, a smaller force hit an FW-190 repair depot at Zwickau. Over 300 German fighters attacked the bomber forces, losing almost half its aircraft, with claims of upwards of 47 Luftwaffe fighters by American fighter pilots. However, the Luftwaffe was successful in shooting down 46 bombers in a very unequal fight. After D Day, attacks on the German oil industry assumed top priority, which was widely dispersed around the Reich. Vast fleets of B-24s and B-17s escorted by P-51Ds and long-range P-38Ls hit refineries in Germany and Czechoslovakia in late 1944 and early 1945. Having almost total air superiority throughout the collapsing German Reich, 8th Air Force hit targets as far east as Hungary, while 15th Air Force hit oil industry facilities in Yugoslavia, Romania, and northeastern Italy. On at least 18 occasions, the Merseburg refineries in Liuna, where the majority of Germany's synthetic fuel for jet aircraft was refined, was hit. 
By the end of 1944, only three out of 91 refineries in the Reich were still working normally, 29 were partially functional, and the remainder were completely destroyed. Topic. Casualties and awards These missions, however, carried a high price. Half of the U.S. Army Air Force's casualties in World War II were suffered by 8th Air Force more than 47,000 casualties, with more than 26,000 dead. 17 Medals of Honor went to 8th Air Force personnel during the war. By war's end, they had been awarded a number of other medals to include 220 Distinguished Service Crosses, and 442,000 Air Medals. Many more awards were made to 8th Air Force veterans after the war that remain uncounted. There were 261 fighter aces in the 8th Air Force during World War II, 31 of these aces had 15 or more aircraft kills apiece. Another 305 enlisted gunners were also recognized as aces. Topic. Victory in Europe In January 1945, the Luftwaffe attempted one last major air offensive against the Allied Air Forces. Over 950 fighters had been sent west from the Eastern Front for Operation Bodenplatte. On 1 January, the entire German fighter force in the West, comprising combat aircraft from some 11 Jagdgeschwader Day fighter wings, took off and attacked 27 Allied airfields in northern France, Belgium and the southern part of the Netherlands in an attempt by the Luftwaffe to cripple Allied air forces in the Low Countries of Europe. It was a last-ditch effort to keep up the momentum of the German forces during the stagnant stage of the Battle of the Bulge The operation was a pyrrhic success for the Luftwaffe as the losses suffered by the German air arm were irreplaceable and over 300 Luftwaffe aircraft were shot down, mostly by Allied anti-aircraft guns. The losses of the Allied air forces were replaced within weeks. The operation failed to achieve air superiority, even temporarily, and the German army continued to be exposed to air attack. First seen by Allied airmen during the late summer of 1944, it wasn't until March 1945 that German jet aircraft started to attack Allied bomber formations in earnest. On 2 March, when 8th Air Force bombers were dispatched to attack the synthetic oil refineries at Leipzig, Messerschmitt Mi-262 as attacked the formation near Dresden. The next day, the largest formation of German jets ever seen, most likely from the Luftwaffe's specialist 7th Fighter Wing, Jagdgeschwader 7 Nowotny, made attacks on 8th Air Force bomber formations over Dresden and the oil targets at Essen, shooting down a total of three bombers. However, the Luftwaffe jets were simply too few and too late to have any serious effect on the Allied air armadas now sweeping over the Reich with near impunity. A lack of fuel and available pilots for the new jets greatly reduced their effectiveness. The Mi-262A was a difficult foe for the P-47s and P-51s, possessing a distinct speed advantage. Allied bomber escort fighters would fly high above the bombers, diving from this height gave them extra speed, thus reducing the speed difference. The Mi-262 was also less maneuverable than the P-51 and so trained Allied pilots could turn tighter than an Mi-262A. However, the only reliable way of dealing with the jets, as with the even faster Mi-163B Comet rocket fighters, was to attack them on the ground and during takeoff and landing. Luftwaffe airfields that were identified as jet and rocket bases, such as Parcham and Bad Zwischenan, were frequently bombed, and Allied fighters patrolled over the fields to attack jets trying to land. The Luftwaffe countered by installing flak alleys along the approach lines in order to protect the Mi-262s from the ground and providing top cover with conventional fighters during takeoff and landing. 
Nevertheless, in March and April 1945, Allied fighter patrol patterns over Mi-262 airfields resulted in numerous losses of jets and serious attrition of the force. On 7 April 1945, the Luftwaffe flew its most desperate and deadliest mission, with the dedicated aerial ramming unit Sonderkommando Elbe. This operation involved German pilots of the unit ramming their worn-out BF-109 gigaseconds, each barely armed with only one MG-131 heavy machine gun and 50 rounds of ammunition, into American bombers in order to get the Allies to suspend bombing raids long enough for the Germans to make a significant amount of Mi-262A jet fighters. The 8th Air Force was targeted in this operation. Fifteen Allied bombers were attacked, eight were successfully destroyed. On 7 April, 8th Air Force dispatched 32 B-17 and B-24 groups and 14 Mustang groups the sheer numbers of attacking Allied aircraft were so large in 1945 that they were now counted by the group to targets in the small area of Germany still controlled by the Nazis, hitting the remaining airfields where the Luftwaffe jets were stationed. In addition, almost 300 German aircraft of all types were destroyed in strafing attacks. On 16 April, this record was broken when over 700 German aircraft were destroyed on the ground. The end came on 25 April 1945 when 8th Air Force flew its last full-scale mission of the European War. B-17s hit the Škoda Armaments Factory at Pilsen in Czechoslovakia, while B-24s bombed rail complexes surrounding Hitler's mountain retreat at Berchtesgaden. Topic. Pacific Theater Following the end of the war in Europe in May 1945 plans were made to transfer some of the B-17, B-24 heavy bomber groups of 8th Air Force to the Pacific Theater of Operations and upgrade them to B-29 Superfortress Very Heavy VH bomb groups. As part of this plan, 8th Air Force headquarters was reassigned to Sakugawa, Kadena Airfield, Okinawa, on the 16th of July 1945, being assigned to the United States Strategic Air Forces in the Pacific without personnel or equipment. On Okinawa, 8th Air Force derived its headquarters personnel from the inactivated XX Bomber Command, and Lieutenant General James H. Doolittle assumed command, being reassigned from England on the 19th of July. The command controlled three airfields on Okinawa, Bolo, Futima, and Kadena Airfield. The 8th received its first B-29 Superfortress on 8 August 1945. 8th Air Force's mission in the Pacific was initially to organize and train new bomber groups for combat against Japan. In the planned invasion of Japan, the mission of 8th Air Force would be to conduct B-29 Superfortress raids from Okinawa in coordination with 20th Air Force operating from airfields in the Mariana Islands. Units assigned to 8th Air Force in the Pacific were The atomic bombings of Japan led to the Japanese surrender before 8th Air Force saw action in the Pacific theater. 8th Air Force remained in Okinawa until 7 June 1946. <inaudible> <inaudible> Strategic Air Command World War II proved what the proponents of air power had been championing for the previous two decades the great value of strategic forces in bombing an enemy's industrial complex and of tactical forces in controlling the skies above a battlefield. As a result, 8th Air Force was incorporated into the new Strategic Air Command SAC. On 7 June 1946, Headquarters 8th Air Force was reassigned without personnel or equipment from Okinawa to MacDill AAF, Florida, becoming SAC's second numbered Air Force. At MacDill, 8th Air Force headquarters were manned chiefly by personnel from the 58th Bombardment Wing, very heavy, stationed at Fort Worth AAF, Texas. The organization reported administratively to the 15th Air Force at Colorado Springs, Colorado. 
That base assignment lasted until 1 November 1946, when SAC transferred the 8th to Fort Worth later renamed Carswell AFB. Topic. Bomb units Both Davis Monthan and Fort Worth Army airfields were B 29 training bases during World War II, and the 8th Air Force bomb groups were simply activated at the same field and on the same day as the original Army Air Force Continental Air Force's training bomb groups were inactivated. The assets of the former training units were simply assigned to 8th Air Force. This was largely so that the Air Force could perpetuate the names of groups that had distinguished themselves in World War II. These bomb wings were drastically undermanned and under-equipped. At the close of 1946, they shared only a handful of operational bombers, all B-29 superfortresses. Although there were many available which were returned from 20th Air Force in the Pacific Theater they were war-weary from the many long combat missions flown during the war. However, it was believed that a strong strategic air arm equipped with B-29s would deter a possible aggressor from attacking the United States for fear of massive retaliation with nuclear weapons. By the late 1940s, the B-17 Flying Fortresses and B-24 Liberators used in the European theater of the war were thoroughly obsolete as combat aircraft and were mostly sent to the smelters. A handful remained in service performing non-combat duties though the mid-1950s as Air Sea Rescue Aircraft SB-17, SB-24, Photo Reconnaissance Aircraft RB-17, RB-24, and as Unmanned Target Drones QB-17 and their controllers DB-17. Initially, 8th Air Force under SAC consisted of the following. Fort Worth AAF, later Carswell AFB, Texas 58th Bombardment Wing, later Air Division. Reassigned from March Field, California the 8th of May 1946. Reassigned to Andrews AFB, Maryland the 1st of March 1948, inactivated the 16th of October 1948. 449th Bombardment Group Reassigned from McCook AAF, Nebraska December 1945 McCook AAF closed. Inactivated on 4 August 1946 7th Bombardment Group Activated on 1 October 1946 7th Bombardment Wing established on 17 November 1947 7th Bomb Group assigned as subordinate unit, personnel and equipment from the inactivated 449th Bomb Group were reassigned to the 7th Bomb Group, later 7th Bomb Wing. The command staff and all personnel of the 58th Bomb Wing were eliminated on 1 November 1946 and the organization was reduced to a paper unit. For two years, the wing remained in this status until the 58th Bomb Wing was inactivated on 16 October 1948. Davis Monthan AAF, later Davis Monthan Air Force Base, Arizona 40th Bombardment Group. Reassigned from March Field, California, 8 May 1946. Inactivated on 1 October 1946. 444th Bombardment Group Reassigned from Merced AAF, California the 6th of May 1945 Inactivated on the 1st of October 1946 43rd Bombardment Group Activated on the 4th of October 1946 43D Bombardment Wing established on the 3rd of November 1947 43D Bomb Group assigned as subordinate unit, personnel and equipment from the inactivated 40th and 444th Bomb Groups were reassigned to the 43D Bomb Group. Roswell AAF, later Walker Air Force Base, Arizona 509th Bombardment Group. Reassigned from North Field, Tinian on 8 November 1946. 509th Bombardment Wing established on 3 November 1947. 
509th Bombardment Group assigned as subordinate unit, the 8th Air Force was specifically charged with the atomic mission, however, only the 509th Composite Group at Roswell AAF had B-29s that had the capability to drop nuclear weapons. The 7th Bomb Group at Fort Worth AAF was modifying their aircraft to carry the atomic bomb. Smoky Hill AAF, later Smoky Hill Air Force Base, Kansas transferred from 15th Air Force, the 16th of May 1,948,301st Bombardment Wing. Reassigned to Barksdale AFB, Louisiana, the 1st of August 1949. Smoky Hill AFB inactivated. From 1946 through 1949, what little money became available was used to buy new planes B-50 Superfortress, B-36 Peacemaker for SAC, and as the newer aircraft became available, the older B-29s were sent to storage depots or sent to Air Force Reserve units for training missions. Topic. Fighter units. SAC was founded by the men who fought in World War II, who knew the importance of fighter escorts. In its early days, SAC had fighter wings for the escorting its aircraft equipped with the new F-82E twin Mustang along with long-range F-51H Mustangs and F-47N Thunderbolts, all of which were designed late in World War II for use in the planned invasion of Japan. SAC fighter wings assigned to 8th Air Force were 27th Fighter Wing F-82E Twin Mustang activated at Kearney AFB, Nebraska on 27 July 1947 Reassigned to Bergstrom AFB, Texas on 16 March 1949 Base closed, 31st Fighter Wing F-47N Thunderbolt activated at Turner AFB, Georgia on 25 June 1947 Inactivated on 16 June 195233D Fighter Wing F-51H Mustang, F-80C Shooting Star attached to 509th Bombardment Wing, Very Heavy, Walker AFB, New Mexico 17 November 1947 Reassigned to Otis AFB, Massachusetts, the 15th of November 194882D Fighter Wing F51D Mustang, activated at Grenier AFB, New Hampshire on the 12th of April 1947. Inactivated the 2nd of October 1949. Fighter escorts were no longer needed once SAC was equipped with Boeing B47 Stratajet and then Boeing B52 Stratofortress jet bombers carrying nuclear bombs. As the nuclear weapons carried by the bombers were so powerful that only one plane was assigned to a target that might have previously needed a whole bomb group of aircraft. Although SAC fighter squadrons upgraded to Republic F-84F Thunderstreak jet fighters in the early 1950s, the new jet bombers flew so high and so fast there was little danger of them being intercepted by enemy fighters. By 1955, SAC no longer needed its fighters and these fighter units were transferred to Tactical Air Command and utilized in a tactical role. In 1949, a realignment of responsibilities for SAC's two air forces occurred. 15th Air Force was relocated to March AFB, California. As part of this realignment, most SAC bomber forces west of the Mississippi River were reassigned to 15th AF. Those east of the Mississippi were assigned to SAC's other strategic air force, 8th Air Force, which was reassigned to Westover AFB, Massachusetts, where it commanded all SAC bases in the eastern United States. Several events in the late 1940s reversed the drawdown of United States strategic forces. The 1948 blockade of West Berlin by the Eastern Bloc and the outbreak of the Cold War caused the United States to deploy SAC's B-29 bomber force back to the United Kingdom and West Germany. Communist victories in the Chinese Civil War in 1949 and the outbreak of the Korean War in 1950 meant that the United States would have to expand SAC to address these potential threats both in Europe as well as Asia. 
By the time of the outbreak of the Korean War in June 1950, 8th Air Force consisted of the following units. Topic. Korean War On 25 June 1950, the armed forces of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, North Korea invaded South Korea. On 27 June, the United Nations Security Council voted to assist the South Koreans in resisting the invasion. Although 8th Air Force's strategic bomber force was not committed to combat in Korea, the 8th deployed the 27th Fighter Escort Wing for combat action in Korea and earned numerous honors and awards for their combat record during the Korean War. On 21 January 1951, Lieutenant Col. William Bertram, commander of the 523rd Fighter Escort Squadron, shot down the first MiG-15 for the wing and became the first F-84 pilot with a confirmed MiG kill. Two days later, on 23 January, the 27th FU participated in the raid on Sinuju Airfield in North Korea and shot down four more MiG-15s. By the time the group rotated back to the United States, they had flown more than 23,000 combat hours in more than 12,000 sorties. For its Korean War service, the 27th Fighter Escort Wing received the Distinguished Unit Citation, covering the period of 26 January through 21 April 1951, for their actions in Korea. The 27th was relieved of its duties supporting UN forces in Korea and returned to Bergstrom AFB on 31 July 1951, but was redeployed to Misawa AB, Japan during 6 October 1952 to 13 February 1953 to provide air defense. Topic. Cold War. With the end of fighting in Korea, President Dwight D. Eisenhower, who had taken office in January 1953, called for a new look at national defense. The result, a greater reliance on nuclear weapons and air power to deter war. His administration chose to invest in the Air Force, especially Strategic Air Command. The nuclear arms race shifted into high gear. The Air Force retired nearly all of its piston-engine B-29, B-50s and they were replaced by new Boeing B-47 Stratajet aircraft. By 1955 the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress would be entering the inventory in substantial numbers, as prop B-36s were phased out of heavy bombardment units rapidly. Also after the deployment of forces to Far East Air Force to engage in combat over Korea, the history of 8th Air Force becomes indistinguishable from that of Strategic Air Command. The 8th's weapons inventory also changed to include KC-135 air refuelers and intercontinental ballistic missiles, the Atlas, Titan I and Titan II, and all Minuteman models, at the same time, aerial refueling techniques were improved to the extent that 8th Air Force bombers could still reach targets in Europe and Asia even if overseas bases were destroyed by an enemy attack. To reduce the risk to its bomber fleet in the United States, 8th Air Force aircraft stood nuclear alert, providing a deterrent against an attack on the United States by the Soviet Union. It dispersed its planes to a large number of bases across the United States so as not to have too many concentrated at a single location. Topic. Vietnam War In 1965, 8th Air Force entered combat again, this time in Southeast Asia. At first, the 8th deployed its B-52 bomber and KC-135 tanker units from the U.S. to operating bases in Guam, Okinawa and Thailand. Then in April 1970, SAC moved the 8th without personnel or equipment to Anderson AFB Guam, absorbing resources of the 3D Air Division. At Anderson, the 8th took over the direction of all bombing and refueling operations in Southeast Asia. 
The intensive bombing of Hanoi and Haiphong during 11 days in December 1972, known as Operation Linebacker II, was but one highlight of those war years. Importantly, the 8th's bombing effectiveness influenced the North Vietnamese to end hostilities. With the end of combat in Southeast Asia, the 8th Air Force moved without personnel or equipment to Barksdale AFB Louisiana on 1 January 1975, absorbing the resources of 2nd Air Force. In the 1980s, the 8th participated in several key operations such as running the Tanker Task Force for Operation Urgent Fury in 1983 and directing all air refueling operations for Operation El Dorado Canyon in 1986 and Operation Just Cause in 1989. Topic. Operations over Iraq The 8th's units played a key role in the 42-day Gulf War in 1991. An 8th Air Force unit, the 2D Bomb Wing, spearheaded the air campaign by dispatching B-52s from Barksdale to launch conventional air-launched cruise missiles against Iraqi targets. 8th Air Force bomb wings, stationed in the Persian Gulf region, also attacked Iraq's Republican Guard forces and numerous key strategic targets, while other units provided air refueling and tactical reconnaissance throughout the conflict. As a headquarters, the 8th had another important role in victory over Iraqi forces. Operating the logistics supply and air refueling bridge between the U.S. and Gulf region. Topic. History from June 1992 Fifteen months after Operation Desert Storm, the Air Force reorganized. Eighth Air Force was relieved from assignment to Strategic Air Command and assigned to the new Air Combat Command on 1 June 1992. Under ACC, 8th Air Force provides command and control, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance C2ISR, long-range attack, and information operations forces to Air Force components and warfighting commands. 8th Air Force trains, tests, exercises and demonstrates combat-ready forces for rapid employment worldwide. 8th Air Force also provides conventional forces to U.S. Joint Forces Command and provides nuclear-capable bombers, specified global strike assets, and C-2ISR capabilities to U.S. Strategic Command 8th Air Force also supports STRATCOM's Joint Force Headquarters, Information Operations and serves as the command element for Air Force-wide computer network operations. Under ACC, the 8th received control over active duty, Air Force Reserve, and Air National Guard units in the central U.S. and two overseas locations. Then in January 1994, ACC reorganized 8th Air Force as a general purpose numbered Air Force NAF with a warfighting mission to support the U.S. Joint Forces and U.S. Strategic Commands. Support to the latter command included the operation of Task Force 204 bombers. Since 1994, the 8th has participated in a string of contingency operations, such as the 1996 operation, Desert Strike, against Iraq, the 1998 operation, Desert Fox, similarly named but in no way associated with Field Marshal Erwin Rommel against Iraq, which featured the B-1B in its combat debut, and 1999 Operation Allied Force against the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, which involved the B-2A spirit in its first uncontested mission of aggression, which was officially designated combat. The Allied Force Campaign also marked the 8th's return to Europe and the participation of U.S. bombers in the North Atlantic Treaty Organization's NATO first combat operation. Altogether, the 8th's bombers flew 325 sorties to drop over 7 million pounds of ordnance on a nation slightly smaller than the state of Colorado. In 2000, the Air Force decided to integrate information operations into 8th Air Force. 
The integration process started on 1 February 2001, when the Air Force realigned the Air Intelligence Agency under ACC and assigned the 67th Information Operations Wing and the 70th Intelligence Wing to the 8th. The reorganization transformed the 8th into the only Information Operations and Bomber NAF in the Air Force. For the mighty 8th, that change heralded an interesting future, one that bring further restructuring, different aircraft system purchases, and a new challenging mission to the NAF. While posturing itself for that mission change, the 8th also supported Operation Enduring Freedom, in which the Air Force operates against targets in Afghanistan, and Noble Eagle, for the defense of North American airspace. Throughout the first six months of Enduring Freedom, the Mighty Eighth's bombers were instrumental in the eradication of many targets and opposing combatants in Afghanistan. Topic. Air Force Global Strike Command Under Air Force Global Strike Command since 1 February 2010, 8th Air Force controls Strategic Bomber e.g., B-2 Spirit and B-52 Stratofortress, and B-1 Lancer forces throughout the United States and overseas locations. 8th Air Force carries out its warfighting missions under U.S. Strategic Command and the Air Component Commands of the other regional Unified Combatant Commands. 8th Air Force has five regular Air Force bomb wings, two Air Reserve Total Force Integration bomb wings, one in Air Force Reserve Command and one in the Air National Guard, and one detachment in the continental United States. Bomber wings of the 8th Air Force include Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana 2D Bomb Wing, B-52H, 307th Bomb Wing, B-52H, AFRC, Dias Air Force Base, Texas 7th Bomb Wing, B-1 Bellsworth Air Force Base, South Dakota 28th Bomb Wing, B-1B Minot Air Force Base, North Dakota 5th Bomb Wing, B-52H Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri 509th Bomb Wing, B-2A, 131st Bomb Wing Associate, B-2A Ang AFGSC Direct Reporting Units Drew 576th Flight Test Squadron, Vandenberg Air Force Base, California 595th Command and Control Group, Offutt Air Force Base, Nebraska Topic. Lineage, Assignments, Components, and Stations Topic. Lineage Constituted in the United States in mid-1942 as the 8th Air Force and redesignated the 8th Air Force. Redesignated the USSTAF at which time the 8th Bomber Command was resesignated as 8th Air Force and activated on 2 February 1944 redesignated, 8th Air Force Air Force's Strategic, Global Strike on 3 June 2008. Topic. Assignments United States Strategic Air Forces in Europe, the 22nd of February 1944. United States Strategic Air Forces in the Pacific, the 16th of July 1945. Pacific Air Command, United States Army, the 6th of December 1945. Redesignation of U.S. Strategic Air Forces in the Pacific. Strategic Air Command, the 7th of June 1946. Air Combat Command, the 1st of June 1992. Air Force Global Strike Command, the 1st of August 2010. Topic: Major Components. Commands: 8 Air Force Composite Command, the 22nd of February 1944 to the 1st of February 1945. 8 Air Force Service Command, the 22nd of February 1944 to the 16th of July 1945. 
8 Fighter Command, the 22nd of February 1944 to the 16th of July 1945. Topic: Divisions during World War II. First Bombardment later, First Air Division operated the B-17F G Flying Fortress with triangle tail codes between the 22nd of February 1944 and the 16th of July 1945. Headquartered at Brampton Grange, Brampton, Cambridgeshire First Combat Bombardment Wing, RAF Basingbourne Call Sign, Goonchild, Swordfish. 91st Bombardment Group, Triangle A, RAF Basingbourne. 381st Bombardment Group, Triangle L, RAF Ridgewell. 398th Bombardment Group, Triangle W, RAF Nuthampstead. 482d Bombardment Group, No Tail Code, B-17, B-24, RAF Alkenbury. Radar Equipped Pathfinder Group. Attached to, 8 Composite Command, the 14th of February 1944 to the 1st of January 1945. 40th Combat Bombardment Wing, RAF Thurley, call sign, Bullpen, Foxhole. 92D Bombardment Group, Triangle B, RAF Podington. 305th Bombardment Group, Triangle G, RAF Chelveston. 306th Bombardment Group, Triangle H, RAF Thurley. 41st Combat Bombardment Wing, RAF Molesworth, call sign, Fatjil, Cowboy. 303D Bombardment Group, Triangle C, RAF Molesworth. 379th Bombardment Group, Triangle K, RAF Kimbolton. 384th Bombardment Group, Triangle P, RAF Grafton Underwood. 94th Combat Bombardment Wing, RAF Polbrook, call sign, Ragweed, Woodcraft. 351st Bombardment Group, Triangle J, RAF Polbrook. 401st Bombardment Group, Triangle S, RAF Dinathorpe. 457th Bombardment Group, Triangle U, RAF Gladden. 67th Fighter Wing, Walcott Hall, Northamptonshire, attached from 8 Fighter Command P-51D, K Mustang, call sign, Mohair. 20th Fighter Group, RAF Kings Cliff. 352D Fighter Group, RAF Bodney. 356th Fighter Group, RAF Martlesham Heath. 359th Fighter Group, RAF East Retham. 364th Fighter Group, RAF Honington. First Scouting Force, attached to, 364th FG, RAF Honington. 2D Bombardment, later, 2D Air, Division operated B24D, H, J, L, M Liberator with, Circle, tail codes until early February, 1944. Later designation was by various color vertical tail fins with contrasting horizontal, vertical, or diagonal stripes designating a specific bomb group between the 22nd of February 1944 and the 25th of June 1945. Headquartered at Ketteringham Hall, Norwich, Norfolk 2D Combat Bombardment Wing, RAF Hethel, call sign, Winston, Bourbon. 389th Bombardment Group, Circle C, Black, White Vertical, RAF Hethel. 445th Bombardment Group, Circle F, Black, White Horizontal, RAF Tabenum. 453d Bombardment Group, Circle J, Black, White Diagonal, RAF Old Buckingham. 14th Combat Bombardment Wing, RAF Shipdom, Call Sign, Hambone, Hardtack. 44th Bombardment Group, Circle A, RAF Shipdom. 392D Bombardment Group, Circle D, RAF Wenling. 491st Bombardment Group, Circle Z, RAF North Pickenham, August 1944 to the 16th of July 1945. 492D Bombardment Group, Circle U, RAF Harrington. 20th Combat Bombardment Wing, RAF Hardwick, call sign, Pine Street, Big Bear. 93D Bombardment Group, Circle B, RAF Hardwick. 446th Bombardment Group, Circle H, RAF Bungie. 
448th Bombardment Group, Circle I, RAF Seething. 489th Bombardment Group, Circle W, RAF Halesworth, August 1944 to the 16th of July 1945. 95th Combat Bombardment Wing, RAF Halesworth, May to August 1944, call sign, Shamrock. 489th Bombardment Group, Circle W, RAF Halesworth. 491st Bombardment Group, Circle Z, RAF North Pickenham. 96th Combat Bombardment Wing, RAF Horsham Street Faith, call sign, Red Star, Lincoln. 458th Bombardment Group, Circle K, RAF Horsham Street Faith. 466th Bombardment Group, Circle L, RAF Adelbridge. 467th Bombardment Group, Circle P, RAF Rackheath. 65th Fighter Wing, attached from 8 Fighter Command, Saffron Walden, P-51D, K Mustang, call sign, Colgate. 4th Fighter Group, RAF Debden. 56th Fighter Group, RAF Boxted, P-47D Thunderbolt. 355th Fighter Group, RAF Steeple Morden. 361st Fighter Group, RAF Bodisham, then RAF Little Walden. 2D Scouting Force, attached to 355th FG, RAF Steeple Morden. 3D Bombardment, later, 3D Air, Division operated B-17F, G Flying Fortress with square tail codes between 22 of February 1944 and 16 July 1945. Headquartered at RAF Honington, Thetford, Norfolk 4th Combat Bombardment Wing, RAF Barry St. Edmunds, call sign, Franklin, Hotshot. Redesignated from 92D Combat Bombardment Wing, the 22nd of November 1944. Redesignated from 4th Bombardment Wing, provisional, the 16th of February 1945. 94th Bombardment Group, Square A, RAF Barry St. Edmonds. 447th Bombardment Group, Square K, RAF Rattlesden. 486th Bombardment Group, Square O, W, RAF Sudbury. Converted from B-24s to B-17s, Summer 1944. 487th Bombardment Group, Square P, RAF Lavenham. Converted from B-24s to B-17s, Summer 1944. 13th Combat Bombardment Wing, RAF Horum, call sign, Zootsuit, Fireball. 95th Bombardment Group, Square B, RAF Horum. 100th Bombardment Group, Square D, RAF Thorpe Abbotts. 390th Bombardment Group, Square J, RAF Framlingham. 45th Combat Bombardment Wing, RAF Snetterton Heath, call sign, Zootsuit, Fireball. 96th Bombardment Group, Square C, RAF Snetterton Heath. 388th Bombardment Group, Square H, RAF Nettishal. 452D Bombardment Group, Square L, RAF Diafum Green. 93D Combat Bombardment Wing, RAF Mendelsham, call sign, Zootsuit, Fireball. 34th Bombardment Group, Square S, RAF Mendelsham. Converted from B-24s to B-17s, Summer 1944. 385th Bombardment Group, Square G, RAF Great Ashfield. 490th Bombardment Group, Square T, RAF I. Converted from B-24s to B-17s, Summer 1944. 493d Bombardment Group, Square S, RAF Little Walden. Converted from B-24s to B-17s, Summer 1944. 66th Fighter Wing, Sawston Hall, attached from 8 Fighter Command, P-51D, K Mustang, call sign, Oilskin. 55th Fighter Group, RAF Wormingford. 78th Fighter Group, RAF Duxford. 339th Fighter Group, RAF Falmere. 353D Fighter Group, RAF Radon. 357th Fighter Group, RAF Lyston. 
3D Scouting Force, attached to 55th FG, RAF Worming Ford Special Groups, as of 1 January 194,536, Bombardment Squadron, B24HJ. Radar, Electronic Countermeasure Operations, August 1944 to April 1945. RAF Cheddington. Topic. Divisions Strategic Air Command Topic Wings 2D Bomb Wing the 16th of June 1988 present 5th Bomb Wing the 1st of June 1991 present 7th Bomb Wing the 1st of October 2015 present 9th Reconnaissance Wing, the 1st of October 2002 to the 1st of October 2009. 28th Bomb Wing, the 1st of October 2015 present. 67th Information Operations, later 67th Network Warfare Wing, the 1st of February 2001 present. 509th Bombardment, later 509th Bomb Wing, the 29th of March 1989 present. 552d air control wing the 1st of october 2002 to the 1st of october 2009 topic groups 492d bombardment group raf north pickenham the 18th of april 1944 to the 8th of july 1945 assigned directly to 8th air force headquarters performed special operations operation carpetbagger missions topic centers 608th Air Operations Center, formerly 608th Air Operations Group and 608th Air and Space Operations Center, the 1st of January 1994 present. Air Force Information Operations, the 1st of May 2007 present. Topic: Stations. Topic. See also Target for today, 94-minute depiction of an Operation Point Blank mission from 1944 Mighty 8th Air Force Museum 8th Air Force Museum David Wade, past commander